catching the very end of the uh, Star Fall Festival here in South Carolina and I wanted to get a couple of these cars into a video here. The band's already stopped playing and most people have already packed up. I kind of bummed about it. I thought they'd go a little later because there's still supposed to be an hour left but uh, we got some really cool cars here. I'm gonna zoom back out here to a wider angle. Look at this old Probably mid 70s, early 70s Stingray. Beautiful. Corvette Stingray with the T tops. You can see that they're off right now, there and there. You got the flip up headlights right here. And a lot of times they pop the hoods on these bad boys. Oh, I like these rims too. They're, they're kind of solid. You know, that one's got a dent in it. That's a bummer. But uh, these look like mags actually so very cool he's got his little hog in there <laughs> he must own a Harley too so <laughs> that's cool that's cool a little leather leather wrapped steering wheel you can see the uh, shifter there kind of a neat setup he's got the cassette deck still in there the original Chevy cassette deck right there look at that bad boy <laughs> It's, it looks like, uh, yeah, that's probably an original because in the 70s they had push buttons already. And then they have the uh, the um, shifter here. Got the dash up here. Nice, nice, uh, pretty nice condition. I had a buddy up Minnesota had one of these. And uh, he was working on it when I took it for a rip one summer when I went back there and uh, it rode really stiff but I've been in a few other ones since then and I was thinking that they're all that stiff but they ride really smooth if you got the right shocks and uh, you know components leaf springs whatever they might have I'm not sure what this car actually has underneath I've never looked into it but uh, I want to go down here and look at this old Probably from the 20s or 30s down here. I'm gonna ask these guys if I could film their cars. You can see this one right here, right there. I wanna check that one out. So let's uh, let's walk over there and see what they got. All right, we got a 1930 Ford that the guys totally hot rotted up. It's got a Chevy 350 in it. And uh, I don't think that's the original stereo. <laughs> the Pioneer right there. You can see, I don't know if these are, are these the original gauges too? Uh, these actually, aren't originals. Uh, Those aren't original, right? No, none of these are original. Okay. All gotcha. that's, uh, now this came that's off original cool. forward, but yeah, I put cool. it on there. Yeah, just for fun? It's it just chrome, it come off, and. Is this an automatic then? Uh, it's, I uh, wouldn't think so, but it says. Uh, it's, it's uh, you know, it's five speed, whatever you call it. It's, it, it's you have to change it, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it's a manual. Yeah, manual. E even though this says it's uh, that's that's off like an automatic right. transmission vehicle. So yeah, take it. This is your blinkers. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. What's this? The red knob. Uh, that that lets me know that you know which uh, lights on. Like gotcha. The side. Gotcha. The side. And this is your headlight up here, the white knob. Uh, that's this is where I. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, that's it. And that's for the headlights. Okay. And then this is for letting me know that the lights are on. This Jesus. is a prism. Oh. Uh, yeah, the car. That's interesting. Yeah, it's, I thought it was a mirror, but you could see right through it, guys. Look at that. Yeah, it's it's a prism. <laughs> this car, when I when it was built, was it was it, it, I, I chopped it three and a half inches. Oh, you did. Okay, look at that roof. And I cut the seat down wood. so that I could sit and it be set and you, not have to worry about hitting the head or anything. You wanted it concave like this, almost like a motorcycle seat in a way, yeah. so you can sit low. Yeah. Because the roof's low. And I put, then I put, I got uh, on the back side of the back here. I got roll bars. Oh, you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and these are attached to the roll Underneath. bars. So okay, I, I see the roll bar right there. You can and, see it, guys, right there. And, uh, and there's a gas tank right there. Yes, sir. Got some speakers in here. So it's. Uh, I took the. I took the regular. Uh, the regular. I had at one time. It had. Uh, oh gracious! I don't know what you call it. Word. 
a people smaller can tank. Sit, people can sit back here. Oh yeah, a rumble seat. Rumble, a rumble seat, seat yeah. yeah. Here's the roll bars, guys, he was talking about. That's your mounts for him right there. It goes mm -hmm. up and goes across. Right. And you can see it goes down inside there, too. So he's got a nice little system here for protecting the, the seat and all that stuff. But So then you put the, the tank in because you, uh, you change the axle and stuff like that underneath, right. I'm mm -hmm. assuming. So very cool. You want to go around front and check out the engine? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Okay, thank you. So he'll do a little explaining on this here, but it looks like you got your distributor cap right there. See, it's eight cylinder. One, two, three, four, right here. Spark plugs on this side. Uh, look how easy this engine would be to be able to uh, get to to work on. Isn't that cool? And he might still have the hoods. I'll ask him here. But you got a blower here. This is probably a Holly double pumper. Is this a Holly uh, double pumper by chance? It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, uh, it's not a Holly. It's. Um, but it's definitely a double pumper, right? You got the yeah. two, one and two right there, guys. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, that gives you a lot of power right there. It does. That's a blower, or is that just a nice in manual intake? It's just a manual intake. Okay, or uh, not a manual intake, but uh, yeah. just a regular intake. Yeah, got your alternator right here. I mean, everything's so easy to work on on this thing. It's all like right there. He'll jump it off here for Okay, he's got to he's got to jump the car. He had his music running all day, and he kind of killed the battery, so. Look at this beautiful machine though, huh? And I love that you can see it's like a, it's kind of like a go-kart in a way. It's like, must be so much fun to drive this. Look at that. Okay, they're gonna go and try to get this working here. But look at that, with the doors open, it looks really cool. 